One of the most important qualities in today's world is being authentic. Being true to yourself can help you in many ways. It can help you from being boring, pretentious, or blending in with the crowd. When the word authentic comes to my mind, there are three unique people who always manage to pop into my brain. I will mention three different people who have all taught me the importance of remaining true to myself. And although there are many more I wish I could mention, I will not do so due to my lack of time. My father, my English teacher, and one of my closest friends have all inspired me to be who I really am and shown me that I should not try to mask my true personality. Okay. My dad is one of the funniest people I've ever met, and I really think that's because he's not afraid to say any joke that comes to his head. And it's, even if it's really corny or really stupid or a dad joke, he'll still say it. He embraces his flaws, like he'll admit that he's done stupid things in the past and he'll show me, you know, it's okay to learn from your mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes because that's how you grow as a person. And he's shown me firsthand that this is the truth for basically everyone in the whole world. And he never tried to act like he was perfect. And in that way, I think that has made him not only a better father, but a better person. And has also taught me many other important traits not just authenticity, but taking responsibility and knowing yourself and knowing how you affect other people, being aware. On to my English teacher, another one of the funniest people that I know. She openly shares her embarrassing stories with us and she normalizes things that society tells us are not normal or are something that should be avoided at all costs, like learning from experience, like my dad tells me, and figuring yourself out through experience, through mistakes. So through being true to themselves, they also show us that um, everyone makes mistakes and that even bad things are normal and everyone does them. This last bit is also applicable to my really close friend, but she's lived in many different cultures and countries and she, also, she still projects the things that she's taken from those cultures and the culture she's in now, the American one. But she doesn't care if it's like different or weird or if other people might perceive it as, like I said, weird. She still does it because that's what she's used to and that's what she thinks is best for her. She's adapted obviously to American culture as well, but if she feels like it, she'll just bust out in German or in Norwegian whatever she wants and I think that's pretty cool and that's also a huge part of her personality and who she is so in that way her being authentic has made her herself like remaining to herself or remaining true to herself I mean has made her funnier and more relatable and one of my favorite people in general not just favorite teachers she's one of my favorite people and she's taught me so much more beyond the classroom. Okay, this friend in particular lived in India until he was about three years old. And his parents lived in India their entire lives before they moved here. Which was probably about like 14, 15 years ago. So, that being said, he was raised, well, he was raised in the Indian culture and also with a huge impact from the Indian culture because that's how his parents were raised. So even though he was raised by parents of a different culture, he also kind of adjusted to the American culture just as my teacher did. But also just like her, he doesn't care if it seems odd. He still will use and embrace his Indian culture whenever he feels like it. Like, He's not ashamed of his identity, of who he is. He also doesn't let any stigmas or stereotypes or any of that get to him. He's, even though he's Indian and there may be stereotypes of, oh, he must be good at math and other stupid things, he still allows himself to explore different things that might not be expected of him. Like... such as trying new sports or new clubs, like, such as trying new sports or new clubs. He's played, like, or participated in, like, three or four different sports, and he's stuck with two of them. 
yeah, he stuck with two of them. So that may not be what he looks like he should do or something stupid like that. But he still does it because he's not afraid to be himself or do what he thinks he wants to do. He embraces both the American and the Indian culture and he's not afraid to do that or ashamed to do that. Even if other people might judge him for trying to be both or being more of one than the other, he doesn't care. He just is who he wants to be. I have spoken about three people who have unknowingly shaped who I am today. They have subconsciously taught me what being yourself can provide you and the many benefits that accompanies this important trait. Although they all have different stories and backgrounds, they are all, in their own way, authentic. When you feel scared to be yourself, remember the speech and what I've shared with you. Remember the rarity of being different and true to yourself and the importance that it serves in today's society. I will leave you with this quote by John Wooden. Be more concerned with your character than with your reputation because your character is who you truly are while your reputation is merely what others think you are.